let's see. Well, I thought maybe something would happen over here. Oh no, that's right. We needed to go to the middle of the. That's Rounds. where. Oh god, I hate Never this mind. clicking. It's like the hundredth time I do that. It was in the middle, right, of the light bridges. So let's go there and see if something has changed. I'll just click something stupidly again. Undo everything. So this is the eye. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It doesn't look safe to walk there. So, how are we supposed to get in there? Let's talk to Robbins about it, I guess. Or not, I guess. Never mind. Why can't we go in there? It doesn't look safe to walk there. So what do we do? Let's Robert, see if I can ask her about it. What do you think of our situation now? Man? That's a good question. You want the truth, Boston? I thought I had faced reality when Brink died. But when that monster carried me off, I finally understood what it means to be in an alien place. Okay, that wasn't particularly Nothing helpful. Here is going to go the way we expect it. There's no guarantee there even is a way home. We have had some help from the ghosts. Help? They have their own ideas of what they want us to do. They don't care whether we get home or not. But I do, and you do. Okay, so this is also not exactly what I wanted. Oh, I know. I'll keep on searching and trying to understand. Even if I die here, I'll at least know something about the place before I croak, right? That seems like a very a general uh, conversation. So let's Thanks. not talk about that. Um. Let's go back to the cathedral spire. See if she has something to say about the machine. Did you come over here? Robbins. Where is the machine? We've got to try and turn on the inventor's well, machine. Well, we have, didn't we? It's the only way to find out what it does. Well, we've got the part. We put the part in. Never mind. You clearly don't know anything about this. Maybe I have to click some of those console things. Click this stuff then. I don't know what to do with this device. Do you know? If they can make bridges out of light, you have to wonder if they can make anything else. I guess they could make anything. Light beer? I was thinking more of a lighthouse. Very funny. Except Thanks. it's not. Mm. Alien device. Maybe I can do something over here. I can't really see what that would be. Okay. You can actually do something. But that means you can't get into the middle. Okay. I'm going to run around and turn all those off. Maybe they're anchoring it down somehow. Because we clearly have the eye working, right? So we'll have to take the long way around now and turn off all the light bridges and see if that does anything. So I'll see you shortly. You're the one who read the alien books. Okay, something happened here. What exactly happens when we turn it on with enough life crystals in it? Do okay, so before I decided to, to do Boston? that massive undertaking of switching off all the light bridges, I decided to but there's no doubt that finish talking to Maggie, dangerous. even though it was boring. The warned us it might cost us more than we expected. But at least it's less what boring than running through the entire place. It might mean that just turning on the machine might kill us. And it was indeed. You mean he booby trapped the thing? You needed to talk to her the about the right thing more than life to trigger. It may drain the life out of whoever uses it. Then I'm running the controls. Don't be absurd. It might do nothing too. Or it could kill whoever isn't at the controls. Yeah, we just I don't just know. Want to tell you. No goodbyes. We're gonna make it home together, Maggie. 
I'm not sentimental, Boston. I wasn't going to say goodbye. I just want you to promise me something. After you saw me break every promise I made to Brink, you want me to make another one to you? It's just not in your character to lie. Boston. Yeah, exactly. I know you'll keep your word with me. You needed to lie to Brink. He What's was being promise? crazy. If I die and you live, don't use any life crystals on me. Hmm. Don't revive me. Do you understand? Are you sure? I'm not sure if I will want that. I saw what Brink became. I don't want that to happen to me. But I guess yeah, that doesn't seem like much of a life. Maggie Robbins. You'd be creating a monster with my memories, my face. Don't do it. Promise me. I promise, Maggie. And vice versa, okay? All right. And now you tell me the truth about something, Maggie. Are you sure you didn't find out somewhere that something bad happens to the person at the controls of this machine? Yeah, we'll see. Boston, about that. I don't know any more than you do about what will happen when I switch this thing on. Why would she sacrifice herself for you, though? If that's a lie, I'm gonna. She be doesn't really to seem like the there. type. Yeah, I know. Here we go. Okay. We'll get one of the few cutscenes again, like animated cutscenes. Oh, look at that! It's pretty. Oh, you do need to use all the consoles, except I don't have to because the game's doing it for me. Hmm. What does that face say? Is that the face of someone who knows they will die, or? Be careful. Reminds me of the cutscenes in uh, the CDI, Philips CDI Zelda games, if you've seen those. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got that open at least. But it does look like we lost Maggie. Maggie! Maggie, you liar! You knew this would happen! But the that eye. stuff being stuck. The eye is restored. How the hell could she know that? Alrighty then, and if we had had a life crystal we could actually revive her, I'm pretty certain of that. But she explicitly asked us not to, not to. I think uh, there are two different endings to this game and... Well, one ending is you go with her and one ending is you go without her. can't remember what I've done in the past, I've probably revived her. That's uh, normally what I do. Oh god, that's one ugly bastard. Well, I know what to do to get rid of that shit. It looks kind of like a small, um, like from the Star Wars movies. Can't remember what they're called now. If he's on the light bridge, it should just be to turn this off, and he should fall down, right? Oh, that was it. That's a very, very easy puzzle. Oh, poor thing. At least that he didn't die. Inventor's last chance to stop me. And it was a bad one. I will one. get out into space time six. I will bring the people of this place back home, and they will build me a starship that will take me back. To oh Earth. right, you only get to space time six. Let's turn this back on then. So you don't actually get back to Earth then, I guess. You get to this like other dimension where he's gonna have to find some way to get back to Earth. Let's see. I guess this is the real test. Yeah, what happens now? Can a practical guy from Earth do what all the builders of this place failed to do? Realistically, Can I go no. Into space time six and still find my way back to reality? Probably not. Not sure if I would rather just stay around. Here we go. Oh, that does look like it hurt. It's beautiful. Yeah, he said it would be. A guy could get lost here real easy. No. No, I'm not going any farther into this place. I'm staying here, where I can get back out again. 
You are as strong as we hoped, human. I can understand you. Oh, look at them. In They're all around. In space-time six, all living minds communicate perfectly. You stand at the doorway, human. You oh. show us all the pathway back to They all get to come back? To reality. That's a nice ending. To I wonder if it's different if you let Maggie live. Die. Every past and future. I don't remember that place. I can see or do all, I? But which one is real? I think some of these places we haven't actually been. Go back now, human. Take me home. No, you take me home. That's what this is all about. Is that the dude we were talking to? See, I told you to trust me. All I want, now that my friends are dead, is to go back to Earth and tell the story of how they died. Why not let them tell their own story? I wish. Yeah. You knew the way home, but I know all the other paths through time and space. Ooh, I think I know where this is going. Let's see Wait, if I'm right or wrong. Go back there. Oh, wait, what? Prank does not look healthy. Poor guy. Maggie. Prank. You're alive again. We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Ooh, that smile. She does not look <laughs> sincere. Maggie, I thought I'd lost you forever. So you really didn't try to resurrect me with the crystals. I'm no, curious to see I, what happens if I you do resurrect her. And besides, what the crystals bring back from death, it wouldn't have been you. I might I check know, that out. Not. You kept your word. And yet, you did find a way to bring me back from death. It was I might even real, record that and add that as uh, an, an epilogue. Of the madness of the crystals too. Oh, Brink. You did it, though. You can be nice. No, you weren't even nice friend. when you were alive. No, the credit belongs to you. We once revered a great inventor because he opened the door to unchanging eternity. But you opened the passageway back into true life. All I am is a guy who wants to get back home. So can that happen? Already my people are preparing a great crystal oh, that's cool. to take you there. But Very we nice of you. Back, can't we? You and any others who wish to come. Really? That's you cool. Young people, strong and full of hope and passion. That's like the best That's ending ever. You. And you have much to share Everything works out so good. There will be friendship between our species forever. You couldn't really have asked for anything else except maybe bring clicking a little bit more cheerful. Uh, nice as us. All young species are alike that way. He calls us young and naive. Well, I'm assuming he means naive, but he's the if one who fucked up his entire race. Fight, we'll mash them like bugs. <laughs> <I'll be laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Maybe we shouldn't do this whole uh, sharing experiences thing. Telling the people. That's Maggie's job. Good thing we brought along a journalist. Time. So useful. You did it, Boston. Thank you, Boston. Yay, Boston. Oh, thank you, Boston. The entire universe thanks you. Couldn't have done it better. <laughs> we even get a handshake. That's like the best ever. And here we go. We actually get to go back home. We even got everyone with us. I actually thought we had to go alone. But no, we couldn't end the game like that, obviously. That would have been too sad. I would have missed Brink and Maggie and their cheerful attitudes. So there you have it, the dig. And I can definitely understand some of the critique to the game. Uh, it lacks a lot when you compare it to some of the better 
LucasArts games, like I've mentioned throughout the Let's Play, it lacks uh, the characters really. Th this game does not really have the interesting characters. Uh, it doesn't have the dialogue and some of the puzzles are just uh, purely badly designed if you ask me because even if you know exactly what you need to do they're really really difficult to pull off you don't get the feedback needed to know if you're going in the right direction or not so um, but I still think it has a really good atmosphere I just remember playing this as a kid or I should say as a teenager and I loved it back then you know, back then you didn't even have Google and stuff to help you through those puzzles, so they were proper frustrating. They were still proper frustrating, even now when I, I knew what to do with most of them. And, uh, yeah, I, I still recommend playing this game, although I do recommend using a guide for it, because uh, trying to do it pure blind, I don't think people have the patience for that anymore. But it's still enjoyable, it's still worth experiencing. So I hope you have enjoyed this let's play and uh, that you will join me for the next one, whatever that will be. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you.